Now, was that a crazy trailer or what? Well, before the it showed this, it showed uh, the campaign mission story trailer. And uh, I froze it because when this woman jumps out of this or jumps through this building, uh, you could see her holding the UMP-45. So that means they'll bring back the UMP-45. Uh, not sure if it's going to be in multiplayer, but I'm pretty sure it will be. But uh, the UMP-45 is coming back, so hopefully we see the multiplayer. Now in this picture on the trailer, you could see that guy, he boosts his way out of an enemy's way and he turns back and shoots him. Uh, when they were interviewing Michael Chondria, uh, he said that someone with a shotgun might, uh, you'll have a better advantage of them because all you need to do is like do a little boost dash or just boost jump and you'll be able to get, um, get away from them faster. So that's going to be something new in Call of Duty that we haven't seen before. This this uh this boost dash and boost jump's gonna be it's gonna change multiplayer because whenever we need we're in a gunfight and we know we're gonna lose or we're or the, we're on one shot you know when our screen's flashing red all we need to do is just boost behind cover just boost jump out of the way and reload and hopefully get the guy back and kill him so this boosting thing with the exosuit's gonna be pretty awesome in my opinion. Now. Now on this next picture, this is where you get you're gonna get your most information. As you see on the right, you could see the kill streaks, and if you look very closely, they have points on them, scores. So that means they're gonna bring back score streaks and then implement it into Advanced Warfare multiplayer, which is really awesome because in my opinion, uh, score streaks are way better than kill streaks because with score streaks, uh, everyone wants to do the objective because it gives them more score. You can also see that the kill feed is right where it was in the previous Call of Duties um, and the map is back to its original size. That's the only thing I liked about Ghost was the map was a little bigger but it it doesn't really matter. As you can see that this guy's boost jumping into the air but the guy that we're watching right now just just takes him out. Now on the the bottom right where it shows the ammo and the score streaks you could see these two little helmets if that's what you want to call them and uh, my guess is that they're that has to do with the exosuit so maybe it's your exo abilities like uh, you know how there's bars on them maybe like if you boost jump it'll take away one of those bars or if you boost dash it'll take away a bar or it could be anything but I'm pretty sure that those are going to be for the for the exosuit just for the exosuit so that's gonna be pretty cool now on the next picture you can see this massive wave that just comes onto the map so that means there's gonna be interactive maps in advanced warfare which is pretty awesome because in Call of Duty Ghost the interaction was pretty lame where you could just shoot open doors and on Stormfront use an elevator that maybe goes up if it wants to I don't know but this uh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna I, like I said before, Sledgehammer is gonna change uh, multiplayer, and it looks in a good way. So we're just gonna have to just have to wait and see until the trailer comes out on the 11th of August, and I'll be sure to cover that video. You know, do a breakdown like I did of this. And well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, go to Call of Duty's channel and look at the 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 trailer trailer because it's pretty epic. But uh, like I said before, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you in my next video.